I have the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to downgrade from Android 16 back down to Android 15. This will work for all Google Pixel smartphones and tablets that are released as of recording this video. So it's not just limited to the Pixel 9 series at all. If your Android 15 firmware is listed on Google's website, then you can downgrade back to that version. That way, if you have noticed some random bugs with the latest stable version, or maybe you've run into a massive battery drain issue, then this should get you back to the version of Android that you are more familiar with. For us to complete this guide, we first need to have some things set up ahead of time. As an example, we can't use Google's Android Flash tool without having the bootloader unlocked. So if your Google Pixel bootloader is currently locked, then you will need to unlock it first. But there's no need to worry, as you can relock that bootloader when you are back down to Android 15. And anyone who is not familiar with how this is done, I'll be sure to link to a bootloader unlock guide for all Google Pixel hardware down in the video description below. Just be aware that doing that will erase all of the data that you have on your phone. So be sure that you back up your important stuff ahead of time. But even if your bootloader is already unlocked, downgrading will require that the data be wiped since it's a different version of Android that we're installing. So everyone will want to back up your data now before you proceed here. You're also going to need to have USB debugging mode enabled, which is done via the hidden developer options menu. So if you aren't familiar with how this is done, then again, no need to worry, as I'll have those guides linked below this video as well. And you can find all of these linked in the pinned comment here so that they are easy for everyone to find. And since we're using the Android Flash tool, you will need a compatible browser like Chrome or Edge as they are one of the few right now that support the web USB standard. But you could do this via the command prompt if that is something you are interested in. But since that process is so different than the Android Flash tool, I won't be able to cover that here today. However, if there is enough demand for it, then I can dedicate some time to making that video as well. So please use the comment section down below to let me know if that's something you would like to see here on the channel. With all of that done and out of the way, you're now ready to begin the downgrading process. And we start this by first connecting the Google Pixel smartphone or tablet to the PC with a USB cable. If you end up seeing a USB debugging access prompt appear here, then be sure to grant it access. I even tap the little checkbox next to it so that the phone always knows to trust this USB connection to the PC. With our phone connected to the PC with a USB cable, we're gonna turn our attention to the desktop or laptop PC. And we have already loaded up the Android Flash Tool website which I'll have linked down below as well. And once you open that up with your phone connected to the PC, you should see this allow ADB access button here. So we're gonna click on that. When you get to this page, sometimes you will not see a device listed here. If that's the case and you see no devices available, you're just gonna scroll down this page a little bit click on a button labeled add new device and then you should find your google pixel smartphone in that pop-up here but we're going to select our pixel 9 from this list 
connect and make sure that it is actually selected. If you do not see your device in that list, then there's likely some USB related issue, which could mean that you need to install some USB drivers that are linked to on this page. Or you may need to switch to another USB cable since some cables are focused on charging while other cables are focused on data transfer. If you're still having issues, the last thing that I can recommend is that you check to see if you can use a different USB port entirely. Since I know that some phones do not like USB 3.0 ports, while other phones do not like USB 2.0 ports. So be sure to try all of the ports that you have on your desktop or laptop if you're having difficulty getting your phone to appear in this list. Now, with your device connected, you're going to get a page that looks like this. And we're going to need to select a build here. So we're going to click the Select a Different Build button. And then you're going to see some options here. We could search if we wanted, but we're going to click on the more releases link from here. And you should see all of the available versions of Android that you can install from this page. So we're downgrading from Android 16 to Android 15. So we're going to click on the Android 15 build. And from here, we select the build that we want to install. So if you purchased your phone from a place like Amazon or the Google Store, then we're going to select default since we have a factory unlocked version. But if you bought your phone from one of these wireless carriers, then you'll pick that one instead. You just want to make sure that you click the little pencil icon right here so that you can adjust the settings. You want to make sure that you have wipe device checked because again, we must wipe the device when going from one major version of Android to another. And we're going to make sure that the force flash all partitions option is checked as well. Now you do not have to lock the bootloader here if you don't want to. I won't be doing that here today. But that's up to you if you do. When you're ready, again, we have the Android 15 build install selected. We can go ahead and check that again just in case. And we are not locking that bootloader. When you're ready, we're going to click on the blue install build button from here. We get a summary that we're going to flash the Pixel 9 Pro XL with Android 15, and we're gonna wipe the data and force flash all partitions. So click Confirm, Accept, and then we play the waiting game. You can see here, Google is instructing you to not interact with the device unless instructed to do so by this page, because sometimes you'll need to restart the device but you are also told to not unplug the device as well. We basically don't want to touch the phone or that USB cable at all so that we maintain a secure and stable USB connection. So we're going to wait for the Android flash tool to download that firmware and then flash that firmware. And we can follow along with the progress right here. Eventually, you will see a green install complete message on the Android Flash tool. And then you will see your Google Pixel reboot. And then after a few minutes, since again, we did erase everything, you'll eventually see the Android activation screen appear. So let's go ahead and skip through all of that. But as soon as you're back into the Android operating system, go through and check the About Phone section to make sure that you are on Android 15 again. 
Now, downgrading to an older version of Android is not something that I generally recommend. You miss out on important security updates, critical bug fixes, and even those new features that you see advertised. But it's those first two that tend to be really important. So while I understand why a lot of you folks have decided to downgrade from Android 16 back down to Android 15, I do hope that you give the new update a try again in the future. Maybe not tomorrow or even next week, but maybe in a few months when you are ready to give the update another chance. And by then, the QPR1 update for Android 16 may be available, so you could get to test out Material 3 Expressive right when it's launched. I appreciate each and every one of you who have stuck with me to the end of this video. It means a lot when I see so many of you watching these videos all the way to the end. And now, if you could, please remember to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel as well for more Android tips like this.